Hi, this is Millie Kay, and it's Sunday, November 26, 2017. The subject of today's video is the Belden Powerhouse on PG&E's Stairway of Power. And for those who haven't seen my video showing the overview of the stairway, it's a system of hydroelectric power production projects on the North Fork of the Feather River above the Oroville Dam and Reservoir. And the projects are owned by Pacific Gas and Electric Company, PG&E. And I plan to make a series of videos about the stairway of power. The photo that you see is the Belden Powerhouse. It was built in 1969 and it's located on the North Fork of the Feather River at an elevation of about 2200 feet. It's part of PG&E's project number P-2105 and that's the number that's assigned to it by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FERC. And the Belden Powerhouse has one vertical shaft Francis turbine and a maximum flow of about 2,400 cubic feet per second. The average hydraulic head of the powerhouse is about 770 feet. And I'll show you the pin stock. One of the reasons that this powerhouse was built is that in 1968, PG&E's Big Bend Las Plumas Powerhouse was submerged underwater when the uh, newly created Oroville Reservoir started to fill. And I made a video about the Big Bend Powerhouse and I'll reference it at the end of this video. And then I wanna show you the PG&E graphic that shows the stairway of power. And you can see the Belden Powerhouse is right here on the Stairway of Power. And the Project P-2105 basically goes from up here at Lake Almanor all the way to the, the other side of the Belden Powerhouse. And the Belden Powerhouse discharges into the Rock Creek Reservoir, but that is part of another project and I'll cover that in another video. And Belden Powerhouse gets its water from the Belden Reservoir, which is right here. And it's called the Belden Forebay but it's also known as the Caribou After Bay because those two PG&E caribou power plants are right here and they discharge into that Belden uh, four bay and I'll talk about those in a in a future video as well and I'll show you a satellite map a google satellite map of what basically is the same as the uh, graphic that I just showed you up here on the upper right is Lake Almanor and in the bottom left is Lake Oroville and you can see the mountains a little better of how that um, stairway of power how the water comes starting up here around Lake Almanor and then it comes down through here's the caribou power plants are here and that that reservoir the uh, Belden Four Bay is right around in here. Belden is here, right in this area. And the water just keeps going all the way to the Oroville Reservoir. And that's the North Fork. And then over here, you can see the um, east branch of the North Fork is flowing in there. And this is all happening right around Belden, where you have the upper North Fork is, is flowing. Um, the east branch of the North Fork is there. And then the powerhouse sits on Yellow Creek, which is also flowing in there. So there's a lot going on around the area of Belden. And let's see. This is a satellite map showing the uh, Belden Four Bay and Dam. And remember, it's also known as the Caribou After Bay and Dam because of those caribou plants are up 
up above here, discharging into it. And the four bay and dam were built in the 50s, in the 1950s, uh, when other parts of the project uh, upstream were being built or expanded. And it's a rock fill diversion dam. And the statistics I have on it, the, the best, most reliable source, indicate that it's about 500 feet across and 150 feet high. And the storage capacity of the four bay is about 2,400 acre feet. And water is released from the four bay into the North Fork Feather River through the Oak Flat powerhouse at the dam. And that powerhouse was built in the mid 80s to take advantage of the releases that are mandated by Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to maintain flows for the fish in the in the river. And during fishing season, the minimum flow required is 140 cubic feet per second. And in non-fishing season, it's 60 cubic feet per second. The Oak Flat Powerhouse has one turbine with an interchangeable runner that they switch out seasonally to accommodate the different flows. And without those releases, that section of the Feather River would dry up because the other way that water is released from the four bay is through the five mile tunnel that takes it to the Belden uh, powerhouse penstock. And this, the tunnel diversion uh, results in a nine mile bypass of the Feather River in this area. And I'll just show you this regular map just to give you a little simpler view. Down at the bottom is Lake Oroville, up at the top is Lake Almanor, and you can see how that water, the North Fork, this is the upper North Fork, you can see how it's um, connected to the, the, the North Fork, and then how that East Branch flows in right here, and that's all around Belden area. And um, this east branch of the North Fork is an unregulated tributary. And this is the county line between Butte County and Plumas County. Oroville is in Butte County. And then Plumas County covers this area that I'm talking about in this video. And then if you go up further, that's Lassen County. And now I'll show you some photos and video footage that I took when I was up in the Feather River Canyon area earlier this month. This is the sign that you come upon when you're on Highway 70, Highway 70 East, about 50 miles above the Oroville Dam. You come to a PG&E rest stop and that's where the Belden Powerhouse is. And there are also several recreational trails run through there, including the Pacific Crest Trail, um, you know, the one that runs from Canada to Mexico. And the Belden Powerhouse actually sits on the bank of Yellow Creek, and Yellow Creek is a tributary of the North Fork Feather River. And the powerhouse discharges into Yellow Creek right where it flows into the Feather River. And I'll show you some video footage that I took. Uh, it shows right here is Yellow Creek. And um, there's signs that indicate uh, in that area that flows can change significantly within three seconds. So this video is about 30 seconds and I won't narrate it. I'll just let it play. So there you can um, see how that 
all works there. And then um, I'll show you some photos. This is, you can see in this still photo where Yellow Creek flows into the Feather River. And I took this photo uh, standing near the powerhouse. So you can see where the water flows into the Feather River. And the bridge that you see is the Highway 70 bridging over Yellow Creek. And in the background is Belden Resort. And it's basically what remains of the town of Belden. And that little town was developed in the early 1900s due to the building of the railroad. And the population of Belden at the last census was fewer than 30 people. And this next photo is a shot of the steel bridge that leads from Highway 70 to the Belden Town Resort. And it's the only way to get there except for the railroad. And the manufacturing plate on the bridge is marked 1912. But the bridge was built in 1913 as a railroad spur in order to get supplies to the projects that were going on up there at the time. And in the late 1930s, after Highway 70 was completed as far as the town of Quincy, the bridge was converted to this one lane uh, bridge for automobiles. And I took this photo from the Belden side and you can see across it to the uh, powerhouse. And here's a shot of the Feather River taken from the Belden Bridge. And you can see Highway 70 going along the Feather River. And I will put a link to an article also. It was written by the Plumas County Museum Director. And it, it would be a, um, good for people who might be interested in learning more about the Belden Bridge, as well as the town of Belden. And it's several pages, a very informative uh, uh, facts and information. And then the next one is a photo I took a little bit below Belden, just before you get there. This was a nice autumn shot with, um, it, it was taken in the early afternoon. It was about 50 degrees up there. There's the Feather River. And then here's a shot of a small creek that runs through the Belden Town Resort area. It's just very rustic and beautiful up there especially at this time of year. And then I'll leave you with this photo. I found this couple at the Gold Pan Lodge in Quincy. And it's my way of giving a special thanks to my traveling buddy who so graciously transforms research into picnics by the river. And that's all I'll say about that. Um, but I want to thank everyone for viewing my video. And I really appreciate your views and subscriptions. And I hope you will like, subscribe, and share it. And I really look forward to bringing you more videos about this stairway of pow power. And I'll see you later.